straw bale methodology for weed seed combine cleaning was conducted by Claudio Rubioni and Mark Van Gessel at the University of Delaware and contributing farmers around Delaware. Weed infestations are often the result of a combine bringing seeds from a weedy field, so it's important that the combine is cleaned before moving to another field as well as at the end of the season. A soybean combine harvests by cutting off both soybeans and weeds, bringing them into the header. All of the material then feeds into the threshing cylinder, while grains are collected in a bin, straw and chaff are being dropped behind the combine as it moves along the field. Looking from the rear of the combine to its header, straw chopper knives, walker crank, and straw walkers, residue can accumulate. Weed seeds get stuck in the straw chopper and chaff spreader, as well as an unloading auger. To reach many of those parts, the different access gates on the sides of the combine should be opened. Cylinder and concave are composed of many parts where weed seeds easily hide. Since they are difficult to access, they should be cleaned with compressed air whenever possible. Sieves, tailing return chains, drives, tank auger, and transmission are also important parts that must be considered in the cleaning process. Plant residues containing weed seeds can be removed by opening the stone trap door. Start cleaning combines from the top and from the header to its rear, facilitating the normal circulation of the material. Certain parts are better cleaned with an air compressor, while others can be done with a leaf blower. Cleaning the grain bin and augers as well as the moisture sensors are essential to prevent wagon and truck contamination with weed seeds. After the combine is cleaned with a blower or compressed air, let the fans work until no residue is coming out the back. A tarp could be helpful to see when that occurs. At this point, begin introducing a combination of hay and wood pellets in the grain bin. Be sure to take the bale pieces apart, start feeding them into the machine from either its feeding house opening or its header. Depending on how big the combine is, it would take two to three bales for cleanout. With the engine, fans, and all the threshing components at normal operating speed, carefully feed the bales from the side of the header to the middle. To clean the grain bin, be sure the auger is not running. Mix 25 pounds of wood pellets with half a bale and introduce them into the grain tank auger. After that, start operating the auger to clean it. Straw fed into a combine after harvest, as opposed to straw as part of the harvest, which is grain plus straw plus chaff, moves around the combine more freely, reaching those spots containing hidden weed seeds. Once the bales have entered the machine, Watch the rear of the combine to see when new material comes out from. When that happens, a final and cosmetic cleaning step with the help of a blower would be necessary to remove a few large pieces of straw which have gotten stuck in different parts of the combine. Prior to storing combines at the end of the season, Three previously cleaned combines were tested for weed seed retention. Initially, combines were run until no residue fell in the tarps used to collect the weed seeds. Then, straw bales and wood chips were fed through the combines in an attempt to catch and remove any remaining weed seeds. After running this test on the first combine, weed seeds were identified and counted. Over 3,000 Palmer amaranth seeds along with other weed seeds were collected. A second combine cleaning resulted in more than 1,700,000 Palmer amaranth seeds collected. In total, over 3.5 million weed seeds were removed from this cleaning. The third combine had received a thorough cleaning and resulted in no weed seed retention. Combines have been designed for harvesting crops 
separating grains from stems and pods, and cleaning the grain from unwanted material. Unfortunately, they are not designed for weed seed self-cleaning. Consequently, the machine should be carefully cleaned, keeping in mind where weed seeds hide. The time it takes to deep clean a combine to remove weed seeds could take either minutes or hours, depending on how often it is cleaned and how weedy the fields were. Remember that prevention is the key point to managing weed seed dispersal and combine cleaning is a major part of prevention. Prevention is the key point to avoid weed seed dispersal and contamination. Plan ahead and be proactive.